Welcome back to Decaffeinated Photography, I'm Alex. Today we're taking a look at the Olympus MJU-2, otherwise known as the Stylus Epic. Its current street value is around $250. This thing is some of the hottest film gear going around right now. Is it worth the steep price? I don't know Josh, let's find out. Being a 35mm point and shoot, there really isn't much to talk about in terms of buttons or features. Here we have the silver coloured version, but it also comes in a black version, which also looks very sleek. So, much like the XA series, it has a sliding clamshell cover on the front, which opens to reveal the infamous 35mm f2.8 lens, as well as the flash on the top. On the back, it has a small LCD panel that tells you the frame counter and also your battery life. It also has five buttons on the back. From left to right, it has a flash button, a self timer button, a mode button, a set button, and a rewind film button. On the left is the switch to load the film, and on the far right is the battery compartment. The battery used can be found at Officeworks for about $13. Its silver shutter button sits nicely on the top of the camera. Along with all these features, it is also completely weatherproof. However, don't go dunking this in your swimming pool anytime soon. The Stylus Epic is pretty simple, so what makes it so critically acclaimed? Let's hit the streets to find out. The Stylus Epic is super small. Take any perception of a small camera out of your mind, just completely forget about it. This is the smallest point and shoot that I can say I've ever used, and it's great. Let's have a look. So the small factor isn't necessarily always a good thing though. Unfortunately, it's not necessarily like ergonomic and it can slip out of your hand sometimes. It's also pretty hard to take a photo with one hand without getting your finger caught in front of the lens. Let's switch over. Despite all of these nitpicky issues, I think, you know, we're really complaining about something that's insignificant. So another interesting thing about the MJU-2 is much like its, uh, its younger brother, the XA series, it has a clamshell cover. So this effectively means that with the clamshell shut, you can't take any accidental pocket shots. And believe me, this thing will be in your pocket a lot of the time. So the clamshell cover, it is, a, it is a pretty cool feature, but every time you, you close the clamshell cover and then open it back up, it reverts your settings back to auto. So for me, personally, I like to shoot without the flash on. And to do that, you have to press the button a couple times from auto. So when you take it out of your pocket and you open it up and you don't want people to notice you taking a photo, you have to press the button a couple times. But it's not really a big problem. It is a very small problem. Bit of an annoyance. If you get used to it, it does, it, it only, you know, hinders you for a couple seconds. So yeah, I'm gonna go out and take some photos. Come with me. So the MJU-2, it really packs a really big punch in such a small package. It has a 35mm lens with an f2.8 aperture, which is actually quite amazing when you think about it. It also uses something called DX coding. So this piece of technology called DX coding, what it does is it, it reads your film roll, so... Um, hold on, somebody just wrote you off a whole bunch of coins. So what it does is it reads the film roll, so you don't have to input what ISO, what ASA, and how many shots are in the in the roll of film that you're using. What it also does is it, it can tell you, like with the LCD screen on the back, how many shots you have left. So for me personally, I reckon it's a pretty good mix of analog and digital, and it's pretty perfect, really. So I want to keep taking some photos. So this camera really is auto everything. Auto exposure and auto focus really removes the need for any manual control. You can't change the shutter speed, you can't change the f-stops. It really just makes it the ultimate, the true definition of a point and shoot camera. Unfortunately for this reason, Josh will be very angry because we do know how he, uh, he really likes his manual control. But unfortunately, Josh, this camera is really nice. I wouldn't say angry, just disappointed. For such a small camera, I wasn't really expecting the manual controls anyway. For what it is, it's, it's really good. It's got amazing specs. The auto exposure is really good. Yeah, the images aren't really blown out ever. It's, it's, it's got a, it maintains a very good level of light input. It uses autofocus technology called multi-beam focusing. Uh, personally, I'm not that tech savvy to know. If you want to search that up, you can. It's, it's pretty good, but it's not perfect. It definitely does miss the autofocus sometimes. That's, that's okay as well, because again, what more can you expect from such a small camera like this? 
So, well, there's not much more you can expect from this. The autofocus is kind of shoddy, but the exposure definitely makes up for it. Flash. So focusing is with this thing is pretty tricky. Apparently, if you hold it down and you, through the viewfinder you see a solid green light, it is in focus. But more often than not, you'll see a flashing green light, and that says that it's still seeking for focus. We found through our rolls that we got just over half of our, our shots in focus. So it's a real hit and miss kind of thing. By no means, you know, perfect, but nothing these days is perfect. It is pretty good, yeah. So another feature we have to talk about is the stealthiness factor. Um, it, it is very small, so that's a plus there. Uh, but having to change the flash settings to off every time is quite a problem. I mean, you can deal with it just taking it out and dealing with the flash. It goes out every 8 out of 10 times, say. Uh, but you've, it's really kind of random. Have fun with that. If you can live with it, more power to you. I personally can, and I like it very much. So I'm going to keep going, I'm going to keep shooting, and I'll see you later. Who's going to leave? Am I leaving or is the camera leaving? I'll okay, I'll leave. So, although it's not the perfect street photography camera, this thing is perfect in so many other ways. And it's, you'll be you know, hard pressed to find another camera that is small and portable and offers the amazing quality that this thing does. So really, like that, that is why I would really vouch for this thing. And I can definitely see myself using this many times in the future if Josh lets me. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you want to give us some feedback, chuck some feedback down below. You know we do like the, the feedback. We appreciate the feedback. We love the feedback. Yeah. Overall, I think we have pretty similar thoughts on this infamous little pocket camera. To get this type of specs in a point and shoot, it's quite rare. It is very rare. In saying that, we did find a few issues. We found that focusing was more about luck than actual ability or skill. Because of that, I guess the selling point of autofocus is almost irrelevant if half of the shots are out of focus. Yeah, exactly. With the street price of $250, I think we expect a lot more from this film camera. I guess maybe if it weren't held to that high price, we wouldn't be so skeptical about going out of your way and dropping that much money on it. Keep a look at it like garage sales and uh, thrift shops and stuff like that. Yeah, don't expect it to be a huge, amazing, wonderful thing. It's, it is a point and shoot, it's very good at what it does, but yeah, don't uh, try not to get too hyped over it. It's I will definitely a good purchase though. I will say the metering is really pleasant and it is a full frame auto within the palm of your hand. So like you can't really go wrong. Yeah, full frame auto, that's that's a huge selling point yeah. right there. It's amazing. We're seeing a, a consistency with Olympus. They like to uh, get their auto uh, auto metering right. The photos are pretty good. They're, yeah. they're exposed nicely. Well done, Olympus. Well done, Olympus. Good job. Olympus from 20 years ago. Good stuff. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching again. Appreciate you. See you later. Bye.